Welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you how to scrape a piece of bamboo to get some shavings off it for uh, tinder bundles, things like that. I want to get enough to fill a, maybe a Ziploc bag or so up so I have some uh, ready to go if I ever need any. And for that I'm going to use uh, a bolo knife. This is a knife that uh, our friend BL left when he went back to Texas. It's a nice square uh, tip. It's good for in the garden for loosening the dirt up. Also has a nice edge on it. Has the edge on the right side, so this is a right-handed knife. Um, something interesting here I want to show you is I have a real problem with uh, rust uh, rust on knives. And what I did with this one about oh I don't know, it has to be four or five months ago by now. I sanded it down a little bit and then put on a a coat of rust converter. And as you can see it's it's virtually rust free. So this might be the solution. I haven't used the knife for any work to see if the rust converter just white comes off when you're working with it, but uh, as far as this right go goes right now, I gotta say this is quite a success. And uh, that, like I say rust is a huge, huge problem here. Alright, to get the shavings off of a piece of bamboo, there's nothing to it. Basically all you do is uh, kind of anchor it in the ground a little bit so it doesn't go skidding away from you. Put your hip or something into it. And then take your knife with both hands. Just scrape back and forth. Kind of skipping on me today, but. This is what you're looking for. Is some real nice bamboo shavings. But I want to do this whole thing all the way around. you can find, especially in the Philippines, because a piece of bamboo is always dry. This outside coating of the bamboo here is like a varnish almost. And uh, it's fantastic. Like say you get that right there, that's that's a guaranteed fire fire if you can get an ember into it. Very nice stuff right there. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right, next what I want to do is I want to cut off this piece of bamboo right here. I'm going to use my old Corona saw. Works pretty good for bamboo and any other type of wood. When you're using a saw like this, watch your fingers because if it jumps, it'll get you. I've been cut before. Okay. Now I cut that just below the node. And in fact, this is pretty old. Nothing even to break it apart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split this down a little bit into some smaller pieces and I want to try and make a couple uh, bamboo feather sticks and see if I can spark a fire on them. 
kind of breezy out today here. It's kind of unusual, but it's very nice. Keeping the mosquitoes down a little bit. They're still buzzing around me, but they're not really landing. This bamboo splits up nice. This is some pretty old dry stuff here. This is probably, uh, I guess it's probably a year or more old. I found it over here in the jungle, hanging up in a tree. Usually when it's cracking by itself, it's pretty old. Okay, as you can see, I got a real nice pile of bamboo shavings. That'll make several nice tender bundles. All right, for the feather stick, first I'm going to try the old hickory knife and see if that'll do any shavings on that. Bamboo's nice and hard, so usually you can get some nice fine shavings. Not too bad. Not super thin, but uh, the main reason I brought down the old hickory knife is it has a flat spine on the back, and I thought maybe I could just do a little bit of scraping here just before I try to light this. And I'm thinking maybe the scraping would start up real nice. Working too bad. I think I should have brought down the, the BK too. I think that would work much better. That's not too bad. So then I'm going to turn the knife over and use the back side. I'm just going to try to do some scrapings on that side. Got a lot of little shavings here. Fine stuff. If you look close, you can see how the when I'm scraping it, kind of finer here, and there's the shavings. But we'll try to uh, put a ferro rod to it and see if it'll start. No idea whether it will or not. And for a fire rod, this is the the rod out of my blast match. I took a piece of bamboo and found the right diameter that it slid into, slid it up in there, and then filled it full of epoxy, drilled a hole through it for a lanyard. Now I at least have a handle on it. The, you notice the last time I was using it, I kept hitting my finger with the knife, uh, but this makes it so much easier to use. So here's the fire stick here. And we'll just put this fire still in there like that and see if we can and just almost. She goes right there. So that's a bamboo feather stick. Uh, pretty effective tool. And very simple to make. Worked better than the, the other wood I used the other day. So again, here I'm in the Philippines and I would say bamboo has to be one of your biggest resources. Good for fires, good for shelters. Good for boiling your water, cooking your rice. That's no, good for almost anything.
Uh, filtering water. I don't know if I said that or not. Just want to say one more thing. Uh, this old hickory butcher knife. This is from the Ontario Knife Company in New York. Made in the USA. Made out of, I believe, 1095 carbon steel. This has got to be one of the best values you could ever find for a knife. Um, I've seen them on Amazon for as low as $9.99 and normally I think they're about $14 or something like that but this is a uh, one heck of a knife it's about seven inches long it's more of a butcher knife than anything and uh, works good for a spark on a ferro rod uh, good for feather sticks good for your cooking your dinner uh, all around camp chores everything like that and for me, if you watched my video a while back, it was nothing to make a, a sheath out of PVC for it. And for me, I, mine just is piggybacked onto a machete. But this is what I carry with me when I go into the bush. That's my bolo there. Fantastic knife made out of steel from a, a spring from a, a van, an old Korean van. But pretty nice combination. Uh, another thing you can use is this my old Corona saw. The back of that, anything that's got a real sharp edge on it, flat edge, will also spark. The high carbon steel sparks better. Uh, you can also use the edge of your blade if you want. Not good for your blade though. That's all I have for you. Just a thing. There's another little. This is an old uh, Western brand knife that I flatten the, the spine on that. That also throws sparks pretty good. This is just another neck knife that I use. This is made out of an old uh, seat belt sewed together with a, a piece of milk jug inside for a liner. Works pretty good. That's all I have for you right now. I uh. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch our videos. Uh, please click like and subscribe. We can always be contacted at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com. Our webpage is blindowloutdoors.com. And uh, please send some comments, questions, anything like that. And uh, I guess that's all I have for you. Thank you very much and have a nice day.